Magandang magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. Let me start with the formal introduction. Although, although this is not me, I will read the introduction. Senator Rizzo Antiveros is a health and women's rights advocate, a proud activist, and a champion of the basic sectors. She is the Philippines' first socialist women Senator Visa is current national chairperson of the Akbayan Party. She received the 10 Outstanding Young Men, the TOIM Award for Peace Advocacy for her work in the peace talks with the National Democratic Front, the NDF. You may not know this, but she was one of 27 Filipinas that joined a group of 1,000 women worldwide who were nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. She currently serves in the 18th Congress Club. Okay. She currently serves in the 18th Congress of the as chairperson of the Committee on Women, Children, and Family Relations, which was also the committee she headed in the 17th Congress. Senator Risa has passed 13 laws. Yan, may resibo yan, ha? 13 laws. The expanded maternity leave law, the strengthened anti-hospital deposit law, the Special Protection of Children in Situations of Armed Conflict Law, the Bangsamoro Organic Law, the Universal Health Law, the Philippine HIV and AIDS Policy Law, and this one, this next one deserves a big clap, the Magna Carta for Persons with Disabilities which provides mandatory PhilHealth coverage for all PWDs. Sa mga kaibigan nating mga asawa at lalaki, the mental health law, the safe streets and public spaces law sa mga bastos, the first 1,000 days law or the kalusugan at nutrition sa mga nanay law, the speech pathology law, the Pantawid Pang Pamilya Filipino Program Law, and the Simulated Birth Rectification Law. Okay, you, you would think that Senator Risa would stop working during the pandemic, but no. Even amidst the pandemic, Senator Risa did not stop working. She pushed for free dialysis for senior citizens and for the timely release of benefits and salaries for health workers. And also pushing for maternity benefit for women in the Informal Economy Act, all this during the pandemic, to help ease the burdens of us women, exacerbated by the pandemic. Okay, that ends the formal part. Uh, I wouldn't be me. Mylene and Rose would know that I wouldn't be me if I were not a touch irreverent. So let me be irreverent. Senator Risa wears many hats. Do you know that she is a singer? No? Okay. Di nyo alam, pero nung si Ka Jimmy at si Mr. Wright siguro nanood ng Sound of Music, Nira. Senator Risa was one of the Von Trapp kids in the Sound of Music when she was in St. Scholastica grade school pa lang kumakanta na tong Senator Risa na to. Ngayon, ang sekreto, I have shared many birthday karaoke sessions with her. Lasing na lasing na ako sa tequila na yan, Richard. Pero mas magaling pa rin ang boses niya sa akin. So, talagang karapat dapat maging senador to. I can never outsing her. Okay. She also, you may not know this, but she has been a consistent scholar. Ito talaga may resibo. 
She graduated cum laude Ateneo de Manila, the best school in Loyola. Loyola naman. Wag natin isama dyan ang UP kasi diliman yun. Okay, Loyola. And, of course, uh, you may not know this, but the reason Senator Risa is very at home with media and with public speaking is that she was a former journalist and a TV anchor. Widowed early, she is a solo parent to four children. Although, unless I am, up, I am not updated, I do know that she has a love life. Okay, enough of that. Baka malayo tayo dito. So, ladies and gentlemen, friends, and hopefully financial supporters, please be ready to bring out your checks. Please welcome a dear friend, Senator Risa Andreveros.